m and &E represents over 20,000 nurses, and we represent the majority of the nurses in Minnesota who work in acute care at the hospital setting. So approximately 80% of all the nurses who work in the hospitals in Minnesota are represented by m and our, our nurses know because they see on a daily basis how low staffing levels and the hospital's low staffing levels that the positions that they don't fill, um, the shifts that go unfilled really negatively affect the patients. We're kind of turning over 1,400 Valentines to you that you might not want. Um, but our nurses really feel strongly that it, it's something that we need to turn in somewhere. Thank you and thank you for listening to us. We are bringing these Valentines from nurses on the floor, day shift, evening shift, night shift, weekends, holidays, we're there for you. And here's proof that we need more. We want to do what's best for our patients and we definitely want to do what is in the best interest of the health of the people in Minnesota. When we have people that have to have chemo, blood, platelets, and antibiotics and everything else, it's an hourly thing with them. If you have five other patients, they don't get seen. Beds. And those patients sit in our ER for hours, sometimes days, being watched by ER nurses waiting for a bed. One weekend is we did not have enough nurses on the day shift to give, they, have, they go to classes, our patients go to classes. There was no one to teach them. And these Valentines come from our hearts, our broken hearts, because we can't give the quality care that the patients deserve. But it doesn't matter who you So when we, re we fill these out, it means that it's gotten that bad. It's extreme. Time to check their chart. No time to look at a history. No time to look at labs. I took care of them for two days, and I never got to look at those things. That's wrong. I should know what's going on with those patients. And when my employer doesn't give me that time, my patients suffer. In the 24 hours that I've been down here, I have received six text messages from my hospital asking me to come to work. You want good nurses, adequate nurses, adequate numbers, and when you call for help, you want these people to take care of you the best they can and they know how. I will read as many of these as I can. I can tell you that all of them will be read by somebody within our agency to take a look at that. Uh, 